listening to the Internet Marketing and Business Solutions Radio Show with Ron Kuhlman from RCS Technology Solutions, where we help business owners and entrepreneurs achieve even greater success using various Internet marketing and media techniques. We also offer a 100% money get back guarantee. <clears throat> if we don't hit the numbers that we tell you when we sign a contract, we give you your money back. The purpose of this show is to bring subject matter experts from around the globe to help business owners and entrepreneurs get some actionable tips free of charge. None of the guests get paid. I don't get paid. We're here to just give back to the community. I'm very happy to announce that today we have Paul Webb. Paul Webb is a neuro-linguistic programming expert. His training techniques has an ability to transfer information and focus learning to create an environment that helps others find the motivation in themselves to achieve their greatest business and personal goals, whether it's increasing sales, multiplying profits, and improving your quality of life. Paul, good morning to you. Hello? Hello, this is Paul Webb. Yeah, Paul, how are you? Ron Kuhlman here. You're, you're live on the radio. Good morning, Ron, and good morning to your listeners. Thanks for having me on the show. Excellent. Thank you for coming on. Where, you, where are you calling in from? California, I, I believe, right? That's correct. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? I, I gave the, the bio, the, the little intro, so the listeners have some information, but uh, let's hear a little bit about from you. Certainly. Uh, my background is professional sports, which gave me, I think, my personal drive. <clears throat> and then I met a gentleman who was an international corporate speaker, and I worked with him for about six and a half years. And I was all the time assigned to study successful people and take their best practices back to the trainer guy, and then he would teach it, and we would adjust the materials. So my job, Ron, was to interview the most successful salespeople in about seven different major industries uh, all around the world. And uh, what a great opportunity for me to learn from some of the best people. That is amazing. And you from all over the world. So th this was really the best of the best, huh? Best of the best. And then I split up from this gentleman because um, the traveling was uh, – uh, it didn't work. I got married and started a family. So I had to settle down, and I couldn't do the traveling. So I started my own company and uh, hired other trainers, and it was a great success. It still is today. Uh, I do major corporations all around the world. And i got to tell you, Ron, I'm still learning. I still learn from people. Uh, I, we do a customized work, and I'm happy to be able to give to some of your listeners today some, some techniques. Uh, we refer to it as uh, the NLP training, Neuro Linguistic Programming, which is a, a really a complex uh, study of human behavior, but I have some real simple things I can share today with some of your listeners. Uh, that would be great. And just to prime the listeners a little bit, I was at an event with uh, Paul out in California in uh, Beverly Hills and on and at a 17,000-foot mansion on day one. And the second day of the event, we were on a chartered 128-foot yacht. And uh, the stuff that Paul talked about, it wasn't just sales. Sales is huge. This will help you learn how your prospects, your, your, your potential customers, uh, perceive the whole sales process and learn in, in language and all that, whether it's visual, audio, and Paul will go into that. But also, uh, he had a situation where a, a daughter was learning in schools and had straight A's and then all of a sudden fell off and then found the problem and the solution. And as soon as they got the solution resolved, how she was right back. So, Paul, I hope you can, you know, give the listeners some about that, uh, whatever it is, but uh, go on and, and talk about what you'd like to. Absolutely. You touched on the, the what we call the, the modalities, and that's just uh, a simple way of how we learn. And for any of the entrepreneurs listening, uh, the concept is you don't sell your products and services. You teach people how to buy them. And it's very important how you identify the learning style. Well, the visual auditory kinesthetic is a very a basic foundation of NLP, and there's a lot of complexities, but today we're just going to go quickly for your listeners, the VAK, the Visual Auditory Kinesthetic. My daughter, at the age of uh, uh, being in first, second, third, and fourth grade, a lot of parents will be able to relate to this, and a lot of listeners uh, for their own personal learning style. Uh, my daughter's highly visual, Ron. She's a visual learner, and in first, second, third, and fourth grade, straight A's. She got into fifth, a fifth grade, and she tanked. I mean, F's and D's. 
and no one could figure it out. So I did some research and found out that they used workbooks for first, second, third, and fourth grade, and you can write in the workbook. And it has pictures. In fifth grade, Ron, they introduced a textbook, and you can't write into it. And by not writing, she would lose the interest because she's visual-based. The teachers would talk more and lecture more. And so she started failing. So my fix was that I went into the school and I bought her books as if we had lost them all. And within one month, she was back to being an A-plus student. So she was able, I told her, you can write and you can tear the pages out if you want to. We own the books. And so I didn't have to buy the books anymore after I learned that technique, uh, 6th, 7th, 8th, ninth, 10th grade, 11th, 12th grade, she became a flashcard child and a flashcard student using colored pens and file boxes. And she, she remembers what she sees, not what she hears. And some of you uh, listeners are, have been perhaps yelling at a visual-based child. Clean your room. How many times do I have to tell you to clean your room? You never listen. Well, I, I'm a terrible listener, Ron. I'm highly visual. And when I was a kid growing up, that's all I ever heard. You're a terrible, and I am a terrible listener. No one ever said to me, you are a wonderful visual learner. <laughs> I, ne- I never got that because <laughs> people didn't know that's how my brain worked. So yeah. the visual auditory kinesthetic is just one element that uh, NLP br- brings to people, and it's a great, simple, easy science to, to apply. And uh, some of the listeners will relate to it because some of you prefer text, where others prefer to talk on the phone and chit-chat. The chit-chat person is more of an auditory-type person. The kinesthetic person would be more of a, a combination of the first two, and they go on a gut feeling and use their, all their senses combined. So in my book um, that we have available on our website, uh, this is a full chapter on the learning styles, and it's part of the seven keys to success, one of them being bonding, power, and rapport. It's a very simple concept. People like to do business with people that they like and trust. And when you're able to identify a person's learning style, you build that trust a lot stronger and a lot faster, Ron. Yeah, I mean, to me, I, I'm a believer, and I'm so grateful that uh, you were able to come on. And uh, you've got this book that's got an incredible name. I, I hope we have time in the end. You can uh, talk about that. It was that was, you know, oh, you mean you mean the market. number you mean the number one best-selling book, Ron? Is that what you're referring to? <laughs> By I the can't way, believe listeners, that you are. I can't believe it was available, man. That is amazing. <laughs> uh, uh, listeners, uh, the listeners will get a, uh, a little laugh about this. That's actually the title of the book, the number one best-selling book by Paul Webb. Yeah. Um, when I put that on Amazon, <laughs> they fought me, Ron. They wouldn't put it on. They said, we can't put this on. I said, why not? But when people search the number one best-selling book, your book comes up. I said, of course it does. That's the title. That's why I called it that. You can't change the title of my book. And then they finally yeah. acquiesced. They said, okay, we'll put it on for you. So you can find it on Amazon, or you can find it at my, my website, which is salestrainingforeveryone.com. And so uh, that's another place to find the book. But it's, it's got some real simple, easy-to-apply concepts. And as an entrepreneur, we are always selling. Now, I have more complex uh, live programs that I do around the world and seminars and, and, and corporate workshops. But for today's listeners, very simple concept. Identify a person's learning style by the words that they use. Listen to the words. They'll say things like, it looks good, or it sounds good for the auditories, or I feel good for the kinesthetics. And then adjust your presentation to match up with how they learn. And people buy from people that they like. And so you don't sell products, you teach people how to buy them. And this helps you identify how they learn. So, that's yeah, the, to that's me, that's, that's amazing. Degree. I know it's, it's a fast thing. Go ahead, Ron. No, I was going to say, to me, that's amazing. And if somebody can actually learn those different and just recognize the different modalities, the different learning styles and how people process, you know, their business will go through the roof, but also their, uh, you know, their personal life relationships will also, in, you know, increase in the quality as well. Yes, it does work at both at home and at work. So we refer to it as working in the, in the classroom, because I also teach this in schools. It works in the classroom in the boardroom, and in the living room. Excellent. So go on. Tell us more. Well, um, I, th- I thought that that would be a, a great mini topic uh, to identify a person's learning style. So as entrepreneurs, we want to make sure that we're addressing all three in our merchandising and advertising, such as um, look at our uh, products and services, talk to our professionals, visit today. 
So look at our products and services, be visual, talk to our professionals, which, which would be auditory. Visit would be if you had a retail store to have them come and visit your location. So in your marketing, make sure that your emails and your marketing items have all three elements, the three learning styles, and you'll have a better return on your investment for merchandising and marketing your, your products and services. Nice. Can, can you say that one more time for the listeners? Can you just give them that example and maybe they can yeah. mirror it or whatever? Yeah, they could, yeah they could, certainly. You can adjust it. Uh, look at our products and services. Uh, talk to our professionals. Visit today. Now, when the person comes in and you don't know what they are, you would want to do all three. So I'll give you an example. If the listeners are, are not driving, please don't try to drive you know, and write things down. But uh, I'll show you the numbers, explain things in detail, so you'll feel comfortable. Now, if you said that to, uh, say, a, a husband and wife, uh, folks, I'll, I'll show you the numbers, explain things in detail, so you'll feel comfortable. You notice it has all three. I'll show, explain, so you'll feel comfortable. And the, and the wife says, well, this looks good. And the husband says, tell me more. Well, she gets a brochure, and he gets a story with voice inflections. And all of a sudden, they both like you. They don't know why they like you, but they like you. Nice. And it's just simple picking up on people's speech patterns. And when, they, when you can pick that up, you can you know, pick up on what you need to, how to deliver the information. Right. Well, there's, there's three ways, Ron, to identify a person's learning style. The first is the words that they use. Now, there's two more, but I don't want to get into too much detail here uh, on the radio today, but there's two more. I'll just do them briefly. And uh, what, the second one is where their eyes go when you ask them a question. As they search inside their brain for an answer, their eyes will actually activate the different cortexes of their brain by their eye movement. And a trained NLP person will be able to identify that by watching the person's response and their eye movement. And then the third way is a little bit easier. It's their attention to detail and their personal grooming, how, how they dress. The, uh, whether everything is matching or a certain look, um, their desk would be very, very neat and clean and orderly. And so there's a certain element of the high visual people that have a certain look to them. The auditory people would be dressed a little bit more comfortably, and, and, and the kinesthetics are very, very comfortable. Um, a highly visual person, Ron, will wear a pair of shoes that hurt their feet, but they what? Look great. Where the kinesthetic people are going, there's no way. I'm not going to wear those unless they're comfortable. So the three ways to identify a person's learning style. Again, this is a quick little summary on the radio today, and some of your listeners will, will want to have more information and be able to get that from my contact information at the end. Uh, the simple concept is how we learn is how we buy. Visual, people like to see things. Auditory, people like to talk things out. Kinesthetic, people get emotionally involved using all the senses combined. And to identify, there's three ways. The first is the words that they use. The second is where their eyes go when you ask them a question. And the third, how they dress, attention to detail, and personal grooming. So, Ron, I think that about covers our time today. I'd like to, to spend more time with you, but I know you're, you've got some other things going on with your show today, and I'm just uh, very, very thankful to be able to come and, and give uh, some techniques for uh, your listeners. Uh, again, I, I think you guys have a, a great service you provide for the radio and uh, your listeners in the Boston area, and I'm uh, very excited to have been uh, been part of your uh, your broadcast today. Uh, and I appreciate that, Paul. But we still have about four to five minutes. So uh, well, five I, I would minutes. like to, yeah. So, so before we even go back into that, how about you give them your contact info again? And, and listeners, please know that this show will be archived. So if you are driving, don't you know you don't have to try to write and drive. You'll be able to go to my website, rcstechnologysolutions.com and then you forward slash, just go to media radio shows. It will be listed there. But, uh, Paul, I mean, if you have, we've got probably three to four more minutes, and, and um, I would love for you to maybe give your contact information, your book, and then any other tips you can give the people. Certainly. Uh, you can uh, link up with me on uh, Facebook at Paul Webb Training. And uh, my last name is Webb with uh, two Bs. So it's Paul Webb, W-E, B as in boy, B as in boy, training. And then the website uh, is salestrainingforeveryone.com. And the title of the book is DC to Remember, 
it's the number one best selling book. I, I still can't believe, Ron, when I when I searched that that no one had ever come up with that name for a book. So when I meet people and they ask me, What's what's the title of your book? I said, Oh, you haven't heard about it? The, the number one best selling book. They said, No, what's the title? I said, That's it. That's the title. The number one best selling book by Paul Webb. So Ron, I, I think that kind of brings us up to, uh, and, and again, it was great meeting you at the, at the Mastermind Conference where I was a speaker, and uh, I'm really honored to have, uh, have connected with you and, and meeting your, uh, being able to be able to talk to your, uh, your audience, and I think that about brings us up to the time. I, I'm very cautious of your time that we don't run over. Uh, by the way, uh, I also teach time management. Ron, just a quick tip. Always very, be very suspicious of a time management program that lasts four hours. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, Paul, I want to thank you very much. And listeners, you've been listening to Ron Cooming, and today's guest is Paul Webb. Uh, today, you've been listening with Ron Cooming, the Internet Marketing Business Solutions Radio Show with Ron Cooming from RCS Technology Solutions, where we help business owners achieve even greater success using various Internet marketing uh, techniques and methods.